ایش لو همه شلو همون سلاف سوز با گیم نو پیستی همه باشه میاد شاید باشه مکا کداش در بلانس تی اپوسلز و جیم ایس و آنسی برزد و ورک of the most untruth and sincerity so um what you call it the main takeaway uh kind of um from you know this whole harry and megan uh thing um one one of the main takeaways anyway for me um was just basically how although you know people are trying to you know bring this you know prince andrew thing up into the spotlight um which that's something that's been coming up a lot into the spotlight recently but guess what the media attention just isn't there okay and you know reason why for me that was interesting was it was just basically just a reminder of you know just how much this man controls thoughts and opinions right this whole thing could be a massive distraction distraction from something else that's happening right and something else that popped up was the division that it has caused further divisions because it that was, that was a beautiful thing most i did there right putting that um you know putting that so-called uh, we just call it, you know, she, she looks, she's, she, she's got melanin in her, right? So, you know, going back to the old um, thing of one drop roll, one drop rule, whatever, what have you, right? You know, that so-called black woman, because right? that's how, you know, certain people in this world would look at, would just look at as a black woman, right? Um, you know, into that family, because from the very beginning at that point here in England, right? Yeah, you, you have a load of Jakes that are just like, yo, Megan, just, just because, you know, just because she looks a certain way, just because she looks, um, you know, she's got that hue, right? She looks like a, you know, like a, you know, so a light skinned so called black woman, okay, right? So it's brought about the vision between, you know, the 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 royalists, right? You know, these these basically these these racist Edomites, right? And Jake, right? But once again, I wanted wanted to just you know harp on on this fact about how you know how easy it is for this devil to just control the narrative, be you know be able to make everyone look and be like, oh, this is the most important thing right now, right, and not really bring too much media attention, um, you know, to this whole Prince Andrew thing, which for the most part just kind of been swept under the rug, okay. So this is Matthew ten sixteen, um, says, behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves, right? Be therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves but beware of men for they will deliver you up to the councils and they will scourge you in their synagogues right and you shall be brought before kings and for before governors and kings for my sake for a testimony against them and for the gentiles right so this is going into the fact that in these last days the lord's um gonna have it whereby certain of us are going to be basically you know certain of the things that we say or whatever will be will be brought and will be testified against whether in our presence, whether in our absence, sort of like with the, um, you know, when they had that Senate hearing, where Paul was speaking about, you know, being brought before kings, and it doesn't necessarily mean being there physically, right, but, you know, the topic coming up in their discussions or whatever, what have you, right, you know, these things are going to happen, right, and E is going to manufacture a way, right, to uh, uh, to come at Jake, to, to, to come at those that, are, that you know, that, that fear the most, uh, that teach this truth, right, he's going to manufacture that way, and this whole media craze about, you know, whatever, what have you, right, is an example of just how easy it is for him to just do that, to manufacture a story and do that, right, it says, um, second Ezra 16, um, and 70, right, it says, for there shall be in every place, and in the next city, a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord, Right, whether it's a thing of, you know, we're not getting down with certain of the policies that he's trying to introduce, right, whether it's a thing of, you know, him, you know, bashing us for us, teaching the truth, whether, it's, whether he, you know, he just brings up loads of false accusations against us, right, these things are going to happen, right, and he has, uh, you know, power over that witchcraft, which is the media, right, which is why this is titled, what about, you know, a, a, a Prince Andrew, right, you know, and, you know, people, you, you know, you see in the replies, people are like, oh, no, but this, that, and the other, whatever, what have you, um, basically saying, you know, he was technically cut off this, that, but look, man, the, the, the point of it is he's still living good, right, but these times, you know, my man Harry, right, which he's got to be a J, man, right, my man Harry, he's, you know, he's dealing with, dealing with his woman there, whatever, what have you, right, and, uh, uh, you know, and the thing is, it could all be fabricated, but if it is fabricated, it's further proven the point of just how much these guys can, um, you know, manufacture, 
uh, opinions where you think about inception that wasn't just a film that is that is reality these these devils you know basically you was being told to your face what happens to you on a daily basis the fact that you you know these people have opinions which they believe are theirs but are not theirs Okay, it's Matthew 24, and thus then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you, and you shall be hated of all nations, right, for my name's sake, right? And then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. Okay, so, you know, it says then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you, okay? um, Because whatever it is, we are against this world, right? And these devils, okay, they're, they're going to be just, you know, trying to... Uh, um. Uh, if you, if you're against his thing, he's gonna he's gonna basically try and come at you, right? and ultimately he's gonna be like, look, man, you, you go and take this chip, otherwise I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go and kill you. Which that chip, the RFID microchip, chip, right, which is put into your right hand or into your forehead or into anywhere really. If you take that RFID microchip, chip, right, you you will be destroyed. Okay, as then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you and shall be hated of all names for my name's sake, right? So because we're teaching this truth, right. Which, you know, that basically says they're going to be coming for Great Millstone. Because these other camps really don't, you know, uh, don't, uh, you know, the you get certain camps, right, that don't be pushing the name of, of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, right? You get some camps that will push the name, but then will will take away from the scriptures because they're offended, right? Those people, those individuals, you know, you got to ask yourself what they're going to do in, the, in these days, right? You can't be offended. He that, you know, scriptures talk about being offended in Yahweh Hashem, right? Um, but yeah, like I said, that was just one one of the takeaways that I took from this, um, and everything. And there's a question a lot of Jake is asking, but in terms of like the hardcore media attention, right? It ain't really that, right? So as always, 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 as